Hi everyone, my name is Justin DeLiva, and I'll be presenting How Trusting Can You Be? The Dark Side of International Business. For the past two decades, my family has done business in Korea, Canada, and the U.S. In my opinion, there are two major factors that should be considered when conducting business internationally. Number one is the market which includes the culture, local laws, and the goods and services that you're involved with. Number two is the reputation of the company or individual that you're working with. You should be considering things like their compliance with local laws, their history in the market, and the overall value that they deliver. Here we have the differences between doing business in a country similar to yours or a country completely different. The first example is Americans dealing with Canadians. The two countries share similar values, deal with less barriers, both physically and culturally, and are subject to more regulations. The second example is Americans dealing with Koreans. The two countries have very different values. It's much harder to recover from a bad deal and there's less legal safety nets for a foreigner. And a personal example of mine uh, is when my uncle did a $20,000 deal with a small no-name retailer. Uh, my uncle gave them a large shipment of shoes and other athletic wear, and the company sent him $20,000 US dollars and instructed him to take it to a bank of their choice. My uncle opened an account and deposited the money. A few days later, he went back to the bank only to find it completely abandoned. This no-name retailer actually set up a fake pop-up bank complete with actors. To make a long story short, he was scammed out of $20,000 and all of the goods. Although he's a Korean citizen, uh, the police couldn't do anything because the money had been immediately moved overseas. American entrepreneur Mark Cuban says, always look for the fool in a deal. If you can't find one, it's you. I encourage all of you to do your due diligence when conducting business internationally and here at home. There is always a possibility someone is out to get you or trying to get one over on you. Learn from the mistakes of others because you could be next. So, how trusting do you think you can be? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.